working out the equation from a line, again, there are two methods for this. The first one is you can just spot where the line crosses the y-axis, so where does it cross this particular line here, and we can see that it crosses when y is negative 3. So therefore, straight away we can say c, or the y-intercept, is negative 3. So the next thing we need is the gradient, and for the gradient, let's go from the y-intercept. So for every one square going across, how many does it go up by? You can see it goes up 1, 2, 3, 4. So therefore the gradient is 4. So for every one that goes across, it goes up 4. And you can check for the next, so 1 across, and it goes up 4. So for a line like this, it is quite easy to work out the gradient. For other lines, it may not be as easy to work out the gradient if a gradient isn't a whole number. So if you spot that a gradient is easy to work out, that's probably the easiest method, because then you'd have y is equal to 4, because it's a gradient, x minus 3 for this particular line. So that's one method, and that's the quickest way if you can spot that it's easy to work on gradient. If you can't spot that, then the alternative is to calculate the gradient from the line. And for this, we need to know or pick some suitable points to, to go from. Now you can use the whole line, but it's always best to go from a point where it crosses the boxes. So at that particular point we know it's going to be 0 in the x direction and negative 3 in the y direction. Another point we could choose is up here, because that is 3 in the x direction, 9 in the y direction. So if we were to draw our triangle in, we can then see that for going across, it's 3 across, so our run is 3. And then we can see that our rise goes from negative 3 all the way up to 9. So the rise is 12. And the gradient, so the gradient m, is just going to be the rise divided by the run. So 12 divided by 3 gives you the gradient of 4. And just as before, the intercept, we're just seeing where it crosses the y-axis, and that is negative 3, and therefore the equation y is equal to 4x minus 3.